how to unlock your NSFAS profile, how to reset your NSFAS password. After receiving so many inquiries uh, regarding uh, the resetting or the unblocking of the NSFAS profile or account, I find it necessary to create this video and uh, showing the steps how you can reset your password and how you can unlock your NSFAS account, whether you have still have access to your email address or not. So if you know anyone who cannot access their NSFAS account, they, it is still blocked, uh, please share this video with them and make uh, or they can contact me if they are still struggling. Obviously, uh, for you to get this error, you must be on the NSFAS website through the My NSFAS account. Then you will notice that after trying entering your information, uh, maybe for example, your username, which is your email address that you used, and then after that, let's say you are punching the wrong um, password. You can see that just after clicking sign, signing in, uh, you will get this uh, notice that uh, says invalid username or uh, password. Usually make sure that the username is correct so that you'll be sure that it is the password. Please note that after three failed uh, login account uh, will be locked. So that's why if you can try again with the wrong account, you will then receive this message. That says your user profile has been locked or is locked. Please reset your password to unlock your profile. So how do you reset this password? Before I can start this video, I just want to highlight something because I noticed uh, that majority of the people, uh, they do not finish this video, but I think it is necessary that I highlight this. So in Facebook, because of the number or the threshold number of my friends that I have, I can no longer uh, receive uh, or accept any friends. That's why sometimes I cannot see your messages and I cannot uh, uh, accept your friend request. As you can see that there are many, many of you and uh, I cannot uh, accept your request. Let me say now I confirm this one. You could see that this person uh, actually sent the message long time ago. Please go to your um, Facebook and here just search reinvent yourself, then dash Manoba here. Then you click here, you will find my page. It is my page. So, yeah, I don't know how it will appear to you, but uh, if uh, the first thing that appears is Manoba there, you can now either click here to WhatsApp me, it will redirect you to WhatsApp, or you can just click these three dots here and just clear, write a direct message, click the message here, then you write me a direct message and send your inquiries. And uh, please do not forget to follow me. Okay, I'm not here. So how do you reset your password? Obviously, um, uh, once you are here, you must click forgot your password, whether it is locked or you forgot your password. Just click forgot password here. Then here you need to enter your ID number and make sure that it is correct. You can copy this because you will need it at the, in, in future on the next coming steps. Then click verify here. They want to verify that indeed um, you have an NSFAS account. Then you scroll down and indicate if you still have access to your previous email address or a cell phone number. So you can click yes if you still do. If you do not have access to it, you will click no. You can just click no, then here you need to capture the new cell phone number. For example, you can capture it, the new cell phone number. Then after that, uh, after clicking enter, or you can click tap if this one is not activated, then enter the new email address that you would like to uh, activate. Confirm it. Then after that, you need to upload your uh, ID copy or your smart card. Make sure that it is copied both sides or your unpreached birth, birth certificate. So you click select file here. Uh, some people, uh, once you click the select file, nothing happens here. So what you need to do, uh, don't give up, just retry again. You see, I clicked the select file, nothing happened. So now I'll retry again, then click select file. As you can see, it will give me an option to uh, selected the file then you can go and search where you have stored your document then after that you click upload document as you can see your it copy has been uploaded then you click submit request 
they will give you a reference number as you can see your request has been submitted uh, make sure that you keep checking your email and sms is this your reference you can just keep it in future if they want to press here yeah, you will also receive an email and also an sms confirming your request with your reference number so okay, yeah so yeah this is the another way that you can do however the disadvantage of this one is that it is going to take 7 to 14 days according to them but it will take more than 30 days and uh, looking at the nsfast portal here you can see that you are already left with 30 days and uh, one hour so let's say 30 days i don't know when you will see this message but as of now you are left with 30 days so what i advise you what i can advise you to do uh, just when you are on the NSFAS website, come to the second tab where it says for students and learners, then come and click where it says application centers. Then after that, you come and select the province that you are at. So if for, for instance, here I'm at Houghton, I'll click Houghton. Then Houghton, I can see that there are these NYTA offices or centers that are available. So I'll click here and check uh, which office is nearest to me. So in my case, this one, it is the nearest one. Actually, this one, it is more like the NSFAS uh, office or something like that, because uh, they are said how then NYTA offices or centers here. But if I can search, for example, here and say uh, office, uh, NSFAS office, maybe in, um, let me say in Johannesburg, uh, how then you would see that it will give me this um this this address here so you can also alternately search on google but i would advise that you come here and check the website or the site that is next to you then visit there let them update your profile another way uh, i would say um the nsfas usually uh they post on twitter also on their facebook account uh, about information so my network it is slowly uh, today i think it has been disturbed by the rain so you can just keep checking uh, what their updates that they are posting they are usually visiting um centers two song centers outreach uh, where they assist uh, student or learners with application for example you can see here they were visited this one outreach application drive where on the 4th of december uh, from 9 to 3, uh, the venue was Dula Oma Center. I don't know where is that, uh, but you can see, make sure that you keep uh, checking here so that you'll see maybe that today they are around your era or they are not around your era. So yeah, you can see that on the third, they were at this one, uh, Kulias River uh, School, High School, Kulias whatsoever. Yeah. So just keep posted on the website and see which outreach are they uh, visiting now because they might be closer to you. Another thing I would say, guys, uh, if you only forgot your email address or your only your cell phone number, when it comes here, when you are being asked if you have access to your email address and cell phone number, just click yes. If you have access to your cell phone number, if it is still available, click yes. If your email is still available, you can access it, just click yes. So that um, don't say now I do not have access to my number, then you click no. Or to, I do not have access to my email address, you click you click no, just click yes. Then you come to the second page, you enter your IT number again, then you click submit so that they can verify. Then you choose what you have forgotten here. So if you forgot your username, you would click here. If you forgot your password, you would click here, I can't remember my password you so if you uh, still have access to your email address um you can just click here i can't remember my pa my password and uh, yeah they will send both the um the the username and also the link to reset the password so they have sent this to the email address so even if you are not sure which email address they have sent it to you can see that to this one of the email address that is ending with you 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 know which one then also the number there then you can go to your email addresses then you go to your email to your email addresses you can see that it is the email first of all if you have submitted the request here they will also um send you um this message uh explaining also the steps yeah also the references a confirmation that uh, you requested your email to be uh, updated then after that uh, come here and open the email as you can see here if you have access to your email address you will receive also the username 
then only to your cell phone number you'll receive the link to reset your email address oh sorry your password then after that you click the email the, the link here to reset your email your password so i usually uh, recommend that for the password you just enter your name a symbol and a number that you will not forget so starting maybe the capital letter then you put a symbol then after that once you, you see that they do match everything and uh, you meet the criteria then you can click submit as you can see your password has been updated so what you can do now you can just click go back to login or sign in then once you are here you enter your username your new username and the password that you have just created so you must create a different password from the one that you used before so guys if you are if you are logging in and you are still experiencing uh, the issue where you did see it will say the server encountered an error or something like that please watch this video that will pop out on the screen and follow the exact steps that has been explained there just watch uh, very well if you want to apply there will be another video on the description of this video please check it out and see how you can apply if you're struggling make sure that you can contact me if this video is helpful to you please make sure that you uh, support it by subscribing giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with someone so once you are signed in you can now start applying or you can just start tracking your status and going for what so ladies and gentlemen this is how you can reset your password at the uh, for nsfas or this is how you can unlock or unblock your nsfas account uh, i don't know if there's anyone who has question who has been trying and uh, you want um clarity please do not hesitate to contact me my contact details are on the description of this video below good luck with your applications and take care of yourselves